So welcome back to the Cozy Rosie Crochet Channel, where today I am sharing with you the first of 12 different squares to create your own jolly holiday blanket. Now, before we get started, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and of course the notification bell so that you never miss out another one of my crochet patterns or tutorials again. Now, each of the squares in the jolly holiday blanket are made using fillet crochet. All of the written patterns and the charts are available to view over on the website, but the good news is these videos on the YouTube to support these patterns are said in the traditional pattern writing sense. You don't have to be able to read charts and you don't have to be able to understand the open and closed blocks traditionally used for fillet crochet to complete your own blanket. So the materials that I'm using for my blanket is going to be this Paintbox Yarns Simply Aran. Now this shade that I'm using is shade number 226 and it's really quite a nice green colour. It's not bright green, it's kind of a little bit muted and I've also got a five and a half millimeter hook to create these squares. You can obviously go down to a five if your tension is a little bit loose. Now you can opt to use a smaller weight yarn to create smaller size squares and of course adjust the hook size accordingly. So my panels have worked up at 18 inches across and 14 inches down. And I'm going to be using all 12 squares of my blanket, but you can opt just to use nine and keep Santa right at the centre. Now today's square is going to be the Angel Square and there's a new square being launched each week. If you head to the link in the description box, you'll find the full playlist and of course a link over to the event page where each of the squares will be highlighted and you can get a sneak peek of the other squares to come. So gather your materials and let's get started. So to start our angel with the slip knot on our hook, we're going to begin by making a chain of 66. Get your chain made and then we'll be ready to continue with the remainder of row one. We're going to be working US double crochets and chains to create this fillet crochet. The US double crochet is the same as a UK treble crochet, but I will be using US terminology throughout this pattern. We're going to be starting by working one double crochet, that's a US double crochet, into that fourth chain from hook. So we yarn over the hook, there's our first chain. So one, two, three and four. We yarn over and we're going to insert just underneath that top loop of our chain. Now because these are going to be joined and there's going to be a border going around our blanket, it leaves us the remainder of the chain to join them and create a nice edging too. Once you've inserted your hook into that top of your chain, we're going to yarn over, bring our loop up, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. So our skipped chains here count as our first double crochet and we've just worked our second. For the remainder of row one, we're going to be working one double crochet into each chain across. So we yarn over and insert into the next chain. We yarn over, ready to work into the next chain. Continue to work across, working one double crochet into each chain across. And I'll meet you at the end of row one, where your stitch count will be 64 double crochets including those three skip chains. I'll see you in a moment once you've worked your beginning row. I'm just working my final stitch into my chain and if we ungirl it, we should now have a stitch count of 64, including those skip chains at the beginning and that marks the end of row one. Going into row two, we're going to be starting our fillet crochet pattern and I'm going to be giving you this in just plain instructions, not actually in the fillet crochet style. Remember, you can find both the chart and the blocks as they're written over on the website. This video is just being given to you in a normal pattern format. So row two begins with a turning chain of three. Now that turning chain counts as the first stitch of our first block and it counts as a double crochet. Remembering that fillet crochet is worked in blocks of three, well four, 
This is where it gets confusing with fillet, which is why we're just doing it in the most basic of styles today. But you can find out more, as always, in the description box and over on the website as well. Once we've worked that chain of three, which counts as our first double crochet, we're going to skip that stitch underneath our chain three because that counts. And we're going to work into the next stitch. We're going to be working one double crochet into the next 12. So we've yarned over, ready to work into the stitch next to our chain three. So that's number one. And we're working 12. So that's two. Three. And then we work number 12. Once we've worked those 12 double crochets, we then make a chain of two. So we just yarn over and pull through twice. Now that chain two means that we skip the next two stitches and we carry on into that third stitch, working one double crochet into the next four stitches. So we skip two, then work into that third one making our double crochet and we're working one double crochet into the next four. That's one and two, three and four. Once we've worked those four double crochets, we make our next chain of two and we skip the next two stitches and we're repeating this again. So we skip two and into that third one we work the first of four double crochets. So that's one, two, three, and four, and we chain two. Now we're going to repeat that four more times. So we skip two, work one double crochet into the next four, chain two, and we repeat that four more times and you'll have 12 more stitches left and your chain three or your turning chain from the previous row. So repeat that four more times. So we skip two, yarn over to work one double crochet into the next four and then we chain two, ready to repeat it again. So we're repeating it for a total of six times. So we'll have one, two, three, four, five and six blocks of four with that chain two. And I'll meet you once you've worked those. Don't forget to do your chain two and skip two in between. And you'll have 12 stitches and your last turning chain left once you've finished those repeats. And I'll meet you in a moment. So once you've done your last repeat, you will have one, two, three, four, five and six blocks of four. One, two, three, four, five, six chain two spaces. You will, of course, work a chain two after that last block of four. We skip the next two, ready to work one double crochet into each of the next 12. And that will take us all the way up or back to our beginning turning chain. So work one double crochet into each of the next 12 after skipping those two. And I'll see you for our last stitch, which is worked into our turning chain. The thing to remember about fillet crochet and looking at the fillet crochet charts, working into your turning chain is not included on those chains. It's not included on those charts. So the final thing we do at the end of each row is we're going to work one double crochet into the top of our turning chain. So that in our case is the third chain up. We just insert our chain. Mine gets a little bit small. So there's the back of my chain there. I'm just going to shove my hook through making sure I've grabbed two loops of my chain and work that last double crochet. That really helps to keep your edges straight, making sure you work into the top of that third chain. This is a little bit large, this rectangle, to fit onto my screen, but you should have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven chain two spaces and a total stitch count, including your turning chain of three of 64. And that's at the end of row two. Row three is nice and simple. We're going to make our turning chain of three, which does count as our first stitch and the first stitch in our block. We're then going to work one double crochet into each stitch and chain a cross. Now this is really important to remember because you're gonna have many, many 
chain two spaces throughout this pattern and it's up to you how you work into that chain two space. I'm trying to work across these first stitches to reach my first chain so I can show you what I mean. So when you get to your chain two space, it's important to work into the top of that stitch before the chain space. And then you have the option to work into your chain or into the chain two space. I will be honest with you, I just work into the chain space. So I yarn over and just insert into the big hole. Now there's two chains here, so we have to work two double crochets into that chain two space. And you can position them out if you want to, but they will even out at the end of the project. So continue to work across, working one double crochet into each stitch and into the chain across. Your stitch count will remain the same because we're going to work into that turning chain at the end as always. So our stitch count will remain a total of 64 at the end of row three, and I will meet you there. I'm just meeting you at the end of row three, where I'm working into the top of my turning chain to place that last double crochet of the row. And our stitch count should remain as 64, remembering our turning chain counts as one. Going into row four, we begin with our turning chain of three. As always, that counts as our stitch and the first stitch as our block. We're then going to be working one double crochet into each of the next 12 stitches again. So that's one, two, three. And that should bring us up to the edge of our previous square once we've worked those 12 double crochets. We then make our chain of two to create a space above our previous space and skip the next two stitches. We're then going to work into that third stitch across. So we skip two, ready to work, one double crochet into each of the next 34. So that's number one and we're working into a total of 34 stitches. So work across and it should bring you all the way up to finish in this stitch here. So count across, making sure that you're doing a total of 34 stitches and I'll meet you there. And 34. So we've worked all the way over to that last block. Once we've worked those 34, we make our chain of two. We're going to skip the next two stitches, ready to work, one double crochet into each of the next 12. And then, of course, we work that last double crochet into the top of our turning chain. So I'll meet you ready to work into our turning chain and to end row four. Once you've worked those 12 double crochets, all that's left to do is to make sure we work into the top of our turning chain. Making sure we grab two loops. Oh, that's tight working our final double crochet. Our stitch count should remain the same. We should have 64 double crochets, well, 64 stitches, remembering that each chain counts as a stitch, and that beginning chain three also counts as a stitch. Going into row five, we start with our turning chain of three, and we are repeating row three, where we work one double crochet into each stitch and chain across to continue to maintain that same stitch count as 64. Remember when you're working into those chain spaces, just make sure you're working two double crochets because there are two chains there. I'll see you at the end of row five. So at the end of row five, make sure you've worked into your turning chain so for rows six to nine, we're going to be repeating rows four and five two more times. So we're going to be repeating row four and row five two more times. So we have a total of nine rows. So we've currently got five rows, one, two, three, four and five. So we're going to repeat row four and five two more times for a total of nine rows. So continue to make those next four rows and I will meet you ready for row 10.
Once we've worked those nine rows, you can start to see the pattern forming. So you should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. You should have four rows of these open stitches with one on top. Going into row 10, we begin with our chain of three. And we work one double crochet into each of the next 15. One, two, that's 14 and 15. Now that should have meant you've worked above this block and then we're ready to work our chain of two. Skip the next two, working into that third one across, working one double crochet into each of the next 28. And 28. See, we're approaching that next block there. So we're going to work our chain of two we skip two stitches, ready to work into that third one. And we're going to be working one double crochet into each of the next 15 stitches, which will leave our last stitch to go into our top of our turning chain. I'll meet you at the end of row 10. Just working my last stitch into the top of my turning chain. And you can see that our blocks are starting to come in. We're creating our angel's skirt. For row 11, we're simply going to work one double crochet. Well, we're going to make our turning chain of three. And then we're going to work one double crochet into each stitch and chain across. So we'll be maintaining that stitch count, as always, as a total of 64 stitches. Continue to work across and I'll meet you at the end of row 11. At the end of row 11, you should still have your stitch count of 64. Going straight into row 12, we start with our turning chain of three. And we're going to be working one double crochet. Oh, we're really on over. We're going to be working one double crochet into each of the next 18 stitches. Once we've worked those 18 double crochets, we make our chain of two, skip two, and then we're ready to work one double crochet into each of the next 22 stitches. 22. We then make our chain of two, skip the next two, where we're going to be working one double crochet into each of the next 18 stitches. We're then of course going to work that last double crochet into the top of our turning chain. So continue across and I'll meet you at the end of row 12. So at the end of row 12 we should still have our stitch count of 64. Row 13 once again is going to be Work that chain of three before working one double crochet into each stitch and chain across. I'll meet you for row 14 where things are going to start to get a little bit more interesting. I'll see you in a moment. We're going to go straight into row 14 and just a little side note. Row 15 is not working into every single stitch, so wait for me at the end of row 14. Don't jump ahead. I've done my turning chain of three, and we're going to start by working one double crochet into each of the next 21 stitches. And 21. We then make our chain of two. We then skip two before working one double crochet into each of the next 16 stitches. And 16. We chain two, skip the next two, ready to work, one double crochet into each of the next 21 stitches. 
where of course we'll finish up by working one double crochet into our turning chain. Now remember row 15 we are not working into each stitch across so I'm going to meet you at the end of row 14 ready for row 15 where we're going to be starting the wings of our angels. So at the end of row 14 we have made the skirt or dress for our angels and we're going to begin row 15 ready to begin the wings. We start with a turning chain of three as always. We then are going to work one double crochet into each of the next six stitches. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and six. We then make our chain of two, skip the next two, and then we're going to be working one double crochet into each of the next 46 stitches. So work across and I'll meet you for that next space after 46 stitches. And 46. We're going to make our chain of two, skip two stitches before we work one double crochet into each of the last six stitches. And then of course work a final double crochet into the top of our turning chain. So we now have a space for the bottom of our wings on either side of our angel. Now row 16 is possibly the busiest row when it comes to making spaces. So we're going to go through this step by step together. We make our chain of three and we're going to work one double crochet into each of the next three stitches. That's one, two and three. We chain two, skip the next two stitches, working one double crochet into each of the next seven. So that's one, two and three, go into our chain two space. We're then gonna work our chain of two, skip the next two stitches, ready to work one double crochet into the next four. One, two, three, and four. We chain two, skip the next two stitches, ready to repeat that. So one, two, we're working one double crochet into each of the next four. That's two, three, and four. We chain two, that's what we're looking like so far. I don't know if you can see that. You should have three spaces so far. We're gonna skip the next two stitches, ready to work one double crochet into each of the next 10. One, two. Once we've worked into those 10 stitches, we make a chain of two, skip two, working one double crochet into each of the next four. That's one, two, three, and four. Chain two, skip the next two, ready to repeat that, working one, two, three and four, chain two, we skip the next two stitches, working one double crochet into each of the next seven, that's one, five and six go into that chain two space, and then number seven, so we've repeated the pattern on both sides. We then make our chain of two, skip the next two stitches, working one double crochet into each of the last three stitches. We 
we make our final double crochet into the top of our turning chain of three to complete row 16. So it goes, again, it's always too wide on my screen ever so slightly. Go back a little bit. So you should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight spaces and still have your stitch count of 64. Going into row 17, we're going to work one double crochet into each of the next six stitches. So that's one, two, three, four and five, go into our chain two space and six. We then chain two, skip the next two stitches, working one double crochet into each of the next 13. So that was two. Just working number 13. We make our chain of two. We then skip two before working one double crochet into each of the next 16 stitches. It's two and and 16. We make our chain of two before working, oh, skipping two, working one double crochet into each of the next 13 stitches. That's two and three. Once we've worked those 13, we chain two, skip the next two stitches, working one double crochet into each of the next six. That's two and three, four, five, number six. And of course, we need to work that last double crochet into the top of our turning chain. So at the end of row 17, these wings are really coming in. And we're going to go straight into row 18. We make our turning chain of three. We're working one double crochet into each of the next three. So that's one, two, and three. We chain two, skip the next two stitches before working one double crochet to the next 19. There's number 19. We then chain two. So for row 18, it's a little bit different here. We're doing one open block after another. So we skip two, work one double crochet into the next. We then chain two again. We're skipping two. And then we're ready to work one double crochet into the next four stitches, that's one, two, three, and four. We make those chain of two, we skip two, one double crochet, we chain two, skip two, We're working working one double crochet into the next 19. So that was, before we can carry on, I'm gonna show you what that looks like, because it is a little bit different. So you've got an open block, open block, closed block, open block, open block. And then we're carrying on here, that was number one, and we're working one double crochet into each of the next 19. So that was one two and three go into that open block or into those chains and we're carrying on until we have a total of 19 stitches. Just working number 19 here. We do our chain of two, skip two, working one double crochet into each of the next three 
which brings us to our turning chain where we work our last double crochet. So the most important bit on this row is definitely those two open blocks next to each other. Going into row 19, we start with our turning chain of three and we're ready for another busy row. We're going to start by working one double crochet into each of the next three stitches. So that's two and three. We then chain two, skip the chain two space, working one double crochet into each of the next 16 stitches. So that's one, two, and 16. We chain two. So we skip two, ready to work one double crochet into the next seven. So that's two, three, four, five, six and seven. We chain two and we repeat that again, working one double crochet into each of the next seven again. So that's three, four, five, six, seven. So we've worked over those spaces there this time. If I straighten that out, it will look a bit better. There we go. We then make our chain of two before we skip the next two, working one double crochet into each of the next 16. That's two, three. Once we've worked those 16, we make our chain of two Skipping that chain two space, working one double crochet into each of the next three. And of course, we're ending our row, working one final double crochet into the top of our turning chain. So we've covered up those spaces and added a middle one there for row 19. Row 20 is another busy one, but it will get easier very soon. <laughs> so we're going to start row 20 with our chain of three. And we begin by working one double crochet into each of the next six stitches. So that's one, two, and six. We chain two, skip the next two stitches, working one double crochet into each of the next 10. So that's two, three. Once we've worked those 10, we make our chain of two, ready to work, skipping the next two, ready to work, one double crochet into each of the next seven. That's three and seven. We chain two, skip the next two stitches, ready to work, one double crochet into each of the next four. So that's two, three, and four. We chain two, we skip the next two, ready to work, one double crochet into each of the next seven. Once again, that's two, three, six and number seven we chain two skip the next two ready to work one double crochet into each of the next ten that's three and ten we make our chain of two skip the next two ready to work one double crochet into the next six that's two three, four, five, and six. And of course, we're working that last double crochet 
into the top of our turning chain. It's hard to see the pattern coming out when you're looking at it at this angle, but if you look down, you'll see how beautiful this, these wings are turning out already. Row 21 is our second from last busy row, shall we say. I'm starting row 21 with my turning chain of three. We then work one double crochet into each of the next six. Five and six. We chain two. So we're skipping that chain two space and then we're working one double crochet into each of the next seven. That's one, two, three and seven we chain two so we're going to repeat that seven and then that chain two again so that's one two and seven we chain two so you've got seven chain two seven chain two we then skip two, working one double crochet into each of the next 10. So that's one, two, three, and 10. We then chain two. We're gonna skip two and work one double crochet into the next seven. So that's number seven. We chain two. Skip two again, ready to work one double crochet into each of the next seven again. Three, that's number seven. We chain two, skip the chain two space, working one double crochet into each of the next six. That's one, two, and oops, where's number six gone? Six, working of course our final double crochet into the top of our turning chain and picked up one loop there there we go so at the end of row 21 we have a similar number of spaces they just spaced out differently once again remember you can always compare your picture that you're making to the picture that's available on the website as well if you can't quite see exactly where i've placed mine we're going into row 23 we are obviously starting with our turning chain of three we're going to start by working one double crochet into each of the next three so that's one two and three we chain two we skip the next two, ready to work one double crochet into the next four. So that's one, two, three, and four. We chain two, skip the next two, ready to work one double crochet into each of the next 13. So that's two, three, we chain two once we've worked those 13 we make our chain of two skip the chain two space ready to work one double crochet into each of the next 10 and 10 we chain two skip that chain two space working one double crochet into each of the next 13 three and 13 we chain two skip two working one double crochet into each of the next four we chain two skip two working one double crochet into each of the last three 
And of course, we work our final double crochet into the top of our turning chain. That was the last of the busy rows, I assure you. So we're going to go straight into row 24. We start with our turning chain of three. We work one double crochet into each of the next six. That's one, two, and six. We chain two, skip those next two, working one double crochet into each of the next 46. That's two, three, and 46. We then chain two, skip the next two stitches, working one double crochet into each of the last six. That's two, three, four, five, and six. Working, of course, one final double crochet into the top of our turning chain. Oh, that was a nice easy row, wasn't it, in comparison? Going into row 25, start with our turning chain of three. We're going to work one double crochet into each of the next 24. So that's one, two, and 24. We then chain two, skip the next two, Ready to work, one double crochet into each of the next 10. Two. Once you've worked those 10, we make our chain of two, skip the next two stitches, ready to work, one double crochet into each of the next 24, which will take us to the end of our row, ready to work our last double crochet into the top of our turning chain. Continue across and I'll meet you at the end of this row. seems so easy now doesn't it in comparison going into row 26 we start with our turning chain of three we're then going to work one double crochet into each of the next 27 and 27 we chain two and we're going to skip the next two working one double crochet into the next we chain two again, skip two, work one double crochet into the next. We chain two, skip two, ready to work one double crochet into each of the next 27. So I'm just going to work my first one so I can show you that you should have three open blocks in a row there. And then we've worked that first one, ready to work. 27 to the end basically so that's three and four we're going to continue to work across all the way to the end there should be 27 and then of course you work that final double crochet into the top of your turning chain so continue to work across and i'll meet you at the end of row 26 So you can see we've just finished off our angel's head in row 26. 27 is one of those really easy rows. We're simply going to make a chain of three and work one double crochet into each stitch across. We're nearly there. We've only got a few more rows to go to complete our angel square. So continue to work across, working one double crochet into each stitch and chain space and I will meet you at the end of row 27. Look how pretty she is. So we're going to go straight into row 28. Of course, you've worked that final double crochet into your previous turning chain. Just on my turning chain of three. And then we're going to work one double crochet into each of the next 30 stitches. and 30. We then make our chain of two, 
skip the next two stitches before working one double crochet into each of the next 30 stitches which is going to take us all the way back to the end of our row where of course we're going to work that final going to work one last final double crochet into the top of our turning chain keep working across for row 28 and i will meet you for row 29. can you work out what we're putting above the angel's head we are working on her halo at the moment going straight into row 29 we're going to start with our turning chain of three. We then work one double crochet into each of the next 27 stitches. That's one, two. We then chain two, skip two, working one double crochet into the next four. That's one, two, three and four. We chain two, skipping two, working one double crochet into each of the next 27, which will take us back to our turning chain where we'll work one final double crochet. Continue to work across and I shall meet you at the end of row 29 to work our final row of this pattern. I've just reached the end of row 29. I've worked into my turning chain, making that final chain three for our final row. And this is a very nice, easy one. We're basically repeating row 28. So we're working one double crochet into each of the next 30 stitches. There's number 30. We chain two, skip two, and then we're working all the way back to the beginning of our row or the end of our row should i say working one double crochet into each of the next 30 stitches well i would love to know how you've gotten on following this pattern in this format i hope it's gone well because all the videos are going to be in this easiest format of simply working the stitches without having to worry about the opened and closed blocks to create these beautiful images so that we can go ahead and make our very own jolly holiday blanket. Without finishing this row, I'm just gonna have a bit of a look at our beautiful angel. And I think she's an absolutely stunning specimen of an angel. And I like how subtle this pattern is gonna be going to be Christmassy without kind of shouting about it which is not my style actually I really do love Christmas and I like it gaudy and red and green and as traditional as it gets but I really do love the simplicity of how these squares or these blanket elements will work up so make sure you hit the subscribe button of course because I don't want you missing out on the next video all the videos are going to be releasing on a Friday. You can always find the written patterns and, of course, the charts themselves over on the website. Do come and join the community group, which is linked below in the description box. And, of course, give this a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this tutorial. I will see you in the next video.